in our experiment we are working with the autonomous greenhouse robots which have uh, several functions. The functionalities of the robot is mostly oriented about the preparing the uh, care about the uh, young seedlings. We prepare the function about the uh, seeding, about the um, monitoring of the growing plants. We have also um, a system about identifying the weeds and take care about them and we also create the system to provide the fully mo autonomous monitoring about to prepare the plants to the to the growth and maybe moved to the other uh, fields or uh, in different spots. All of our functions may be uh, controlled by the user-friendly application which may be used by the, in the regime time or in the autonomous system which provide us the effect on the plants. We may precisely control the watering process. It's not only the position but only the amount. Our solution is very flexible. We may use it in the greenhouse or in the outside eco-production. After collecting the feedback from our users, uh, an interesting challenge was to address as many functions as possible in the one structure. W ogrodzie roślin leczniczych zgromadzona jest bogata kolekcja roślin zielarskich, której utrzymanie wymaga rozmnożenia nasion w szklarni. Do tych prac przydatna jest automatyzacja. We use also data from the other vendors. Uh, in example, Atmesis system, which is a small startup, which provides us the weather station. And we use the uh, data from the sensors to uh, adapt them to the uh, work of robots. Smart AgriHubs as a project for me was most important because create an ecosystem. We found interest of our robots in the different organizations like institutes, research institutes, which are uh, willingly to cooperate. And we see that our robot may be used by the um, institutes to provide uh, their daily task and uh, help them save time. Our tool helps to provide healthy seats to our partners.